It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we're in for a rematch of Super Bowl 41. It's the Chicago Bears and the Indianapolis Colts, and it comes your way next. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. And the punter, Rigoberto Sanchez, ready to go. And we are underway from Lucas Oil Stadium. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So the Bears ready to go on offense. And it's the number one overall pick leading them out. The Heisman Trophy winner from USC, Caleb Williams. And we're talking about a young man who proved it at every step along the way. First at Oklahoma, then at USC. Big-time talent, big-time production, and won a Heisman Trophy while playing for the Trojans. Now, the number one overall pick lands in Chicago, and there's an awful lot of talent awaiting him, and now he gets a chance to utilize those weapons. Throwing right away is Williams. That's caught. It's DeAndre Carter. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down. Partner, that's excellent timing right there. Breaking off the route and being able to hit it right when he stops. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Off the play fake, it's Williams. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Here's second and ten. He's going to try and do this himself. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. So that time they got the left guard with a hold. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330-pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. Throws left side complete to Keenan Allen. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. With these run-pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield. To the air once more, Williams. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. The DeForest Buckner using those big hands and getting in there and bringing him down for the sack. Big sack there by Buckner, who continues to be a strong and reliable force along the interior. No surprise to anyone, he's coming off of two consecutive eight-sack seasons. Here comes the Bears punter now. The deep to return is Josh Downs. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. The Colts heading out for the first time behind their 22-year-old quarterback in his second season now in the NFL, Anthony Richardson. And we're talking about an uber-talented young quarterback. 
finally healthy after suffering a setback a season ago. Obviously, you'd love to have him on the field, but the time away may have been a blessing in disguise in terms of long-term development. And if you ask anyone around the Indianapolis camp, make no mistake about it, they have lofty expectations of this young man, and he is a big, big player in the Colts' future. They'll run. This is Jonathan Taylor. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. So that time they get the tight end on the hold. Normally he's a pretty good run blocker, but this time he just didn't get his arms extended and let go quickly enough. The flag came out as a result. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. They go play action with Richardson. Finds his big tight end, Mo Alley Cox. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. From the 22 now, here's the second and nine. Richardson working from the gun. That's caught. It's Josh Downs. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And now two yards to go on third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, here's Taylor. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. 16 yards to pick up there. The Colts have a first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea slow him down otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon off play action Richardson that's going to be caught by Ali Cox and he'll go down but not before getting this inside the 30 a really good pickup of 28 yards and that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. He's got the tight end, Mo Alley Cox. They'll wind up getting just a yard at its second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. There, Richardson back to throw it. Connecting over the middle with Downs. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it's third and four now. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. And Richardson looks to throw once more. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Anytime they think they've got him open beyond the markers, you know they're going to throw it his way. And that's not going to change even after that incompletion was forced. Matt Gay now gets ready for the field goal try. On the left hash mark, this a 38-yard attempt. And Gay knocks this one through. And the Colts hit the scoreboard first. It's 3-0. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. And 
And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. First carry for DeAndre Swift. And he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him. Second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Second and ten. Off the bootleg, it's Williams. This will be caught downfield by Moore. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. What an intelligent play as he found open grass and uncovered quickly. A nice clutch play to move the chains. The defense, they've got to do a much better job of accounting for these shorter routes. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. To throw, Williams. And he'll go right back to Moore, complete again. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Consecutive catches for him, that good for 11. And Moore had a remarkable first season in Chicago. This on top of his previous career highs in catches, yards, and touchdowns. And at age 27, he's not exactly a grizzled vet. Plenty of years left for him to grow. With their new rookie quarterback, Caleb Williams, they expect to be exciting for years to come. Tackle made by Zaire Franklin. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback. They also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Right back to Swift again on second down. And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. The first drive this unit had, they punted this drive. Much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Two yards to go, second down. Here's Williams. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. DeAndre Swift, 14 yards. And the Bears have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. Well, they were looking to pick up the first down on third and short. They got a little more than they bargained for, finding the end zone as well. And oftentimes in short yardage situations, you get a lot of defenders stacked near the line of scrimmage, partner. So if you can get past that first wave, there's usually room to roam, and he found it. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. He's got it, and they'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays, and it was finished off by the 14-yard touchdown run.
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, backdoor them, and that time worked well for a solid gain. Now an option play on second down. That one will go for nine yards and a first down on the keeper. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Indianapolis with the homestanding Colts in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Richardson looking to throw. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Now a second and 10. From the shotgun, Richardson. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Pittman's first catch, good for a first down. And that play came together really well for them as he found open space, makes the catch, and gets down to the one-yard line. You know he's kicking himself right now. He thought he had a chance to get a touchdown and put that in his ledger. Instead, his team gets a chance to cash in over his next few plays. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here Richardson yet again. Throw over the middle, going to be caught here by Mo Alley Cox. He's up over 50 yards receiving now in this first half. It's a first down. We always hear from coaches how much they like to run crossing routes because they want to hit their receivers on the go, get them the ball, and keep them moving. How about when you hit a tight end that way? Okay, the receivers are going to run past you most of the time. The tight end, they could do their damage a different way, break a few tackles and really scatter some people, can't they? Yeah, this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Richardson hit and he fumbles it. And this is picked up by the Bears. There he goes, left side. And nearly a touchdown as they finally stop him down at about the three-yard line. And hey, whatever happened to the days of just getting a fumble recovery? Everyone's into taking it the other way and trying to create points themselves, aren't they? Well, they are. And now a terrific opportunity inside the five. The Chicago offense set to get started. And they are in an absolutely golden spot. It's first and goal following the fumble return. They're quite a turn of events. This is first and goal from the three. 
And they'll turn to a power game to try to get in. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. To the air, Williams. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Keenan Allen from three yards out. And the Bears are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. Santos with the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Colts getting another possession here on offense. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. And they'll send the tight end in motion. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And down goes but he takes it up to the 40 16 yards right off the bat and a first down a vintage run there because when the chains move with him they move quickly no secret that Taylor's one of the most electric playmakers in the league whenever he's on the field always a threat to go the distance back to Taylor on first down and he can only manage to get a couple second and eight coming up You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Second down and eight. Richardson. To the right side, complete to Taylor. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A gain of 11 that time, and a Colts first down. One well, of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Now it's Richardson. And this taken in by Downs. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Running straight ahead, Taylor. Pretty nice, aggressive run there before being brought down just inside of the 30. 40 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. 
Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and four. Play action. Now Richardson. That complete to Downs. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. 25 yards that time. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not, and he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Taylor fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Jonathan Taylor, a touchdown machine. He's going to get plenty of looks down here near the goal line, so if I'm on defense, I might start getting prepared to see his number called a couple of more times. Here's Taylor again. Pushing for the end zone, but he's not going to get there. They stop him just shy of the goal line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. We've got a 14-3 ball game with two minutes left in the opening half. Can this defense hold him out? Here we go now. Fourth and goal from the two. In motion, the tight end. They'll run for it. It's Taylor. And nowhere to go. He's going to be stopped behind the line. The run is turned away on fourth and goal from the two. And the Chicago defense able to come up with a goal line stand. A chance to get some momentum here in the second quarter, getting their first trip into the red zone, but unable to get it across. And if I'm the head coach... Sure, you feel some disappointment, maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in, but I'm going straight to rah-rah mode. All right, guys, we didn't get it this time. It's only the second quarter. We'll be back. Let's get it later on. I want to keep this team up. I don't want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. Got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. To throw, it's Williams. He's got a man. That's Keenan Allen. So the completion good for seven there. And that will bring up second down. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive. And he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. Second down and three. From the gun, here's Williams. Give him another one right back to Allen. With a quick slant, good for eight and a first. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Looking to throw is Williams. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Williams going to look to throw again. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So here's a third and 14. Stop. 
Swift going to try up the middle. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Here comes the Bears punter now. Standing right on his own five-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Colts will go on offense here first and ten. The Colts going to take over now late in this first half. And with great starting field position and a couple of timeouts at their disposal, they'll certainly have the green light here. first and ten here and you know if they could just get three out of this something about whittling it to a one score game at half that might provide a psychological boost and that going to be incomplete too tough to hold on to that one it's second down that's an excellent play by the defender he diagnosed that one close quickly and helped force the incompletion So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Richardson looking to throw this. He'll get that one to Taylor complete. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. They need two. Here's third down. Now Richardson. Working the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Back to the air with Richardson. Steps away to his left. And he's got Pierce. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. 14 yards that time for number 14. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. Gay's kick is good. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14 to 6 now. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. Four seconds, all that remain here this first half as the kick gets away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And with only four seconds on the clock, time likely for just one snap of the football. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we have reached halftime here in what's an eight-point game. 
As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. We watched a solid performance out of running back DeAndre Swift. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Okay, coach, appreciate it. A one touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. The Colts getting the football first, and they trail here as we are back underway in quarter number three. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. And the Colts going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Off play action, Richardson. That's caught by his tight end, Kylan Branson. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. It is fun to watch the big man work the middle of the field. How about that post route there? Did an excellent job of getting his head around to look the football in and gain significant yardage. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Here's Richardson to throw. Hits his target, the tight end, Mo Alley cox And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Richardson, he's going to keep it running right and give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get, so he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. They'll run the toss here with Taylor. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 51 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Richardson to throw off play action. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Kyler Gordon picks it off, and the Bears are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. They were well aware of the scoreboard as they went into halftime, and they know how tough it's been to put up any kind of points. But if there's a positive after that play, is that they were able to take a shot at the end zone on their opening drive of this half. The negative, though, that shot at six ended in an interception, and we know that's not going to jumpstart this struggling offense. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And their defense just helped them out by getting the football back on the opening drive here of the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense, and on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. To throw, Williams. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. 
How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. Here's a quick throw caught by Allen. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 36 yards on the play. It's not a surprise when you read scouting reports and watch tape because you know he's a heck of a player. But he is so difficult to get down in the open field. They just want to get him the ball and let him do his thing. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. Throwing is Williams. That's complete to DeAndre Swift out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives them a first and goal. A CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning upfield, but also, when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second and goal from the one. Here's Williams. Open man, he finds Komet. Touchdown, Chicago. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Bears have taken a two-touchdown lead now. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes... You throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Now the point after try for Santos. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-6. to six. So that a seven-play, 80-yard drive. And it was all capped off by Cole Komet with a touchdown catch. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, 
Most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. It'll be a gain of five, and it's second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. He'll check this one down to Taylor. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play, and that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Well, that wasn't exactly a thing of beauty. I know they completed the pass, but look at the yardage lost. I mean, who does that make happy? That's why I don't play in PPR points per reception fantasy <laughs> leagues right there. You'd be really you don't deserve upset, anything right? for that. But you get credit for it? Is yeah. that how that works? Yeah. Well, I know whoever has this team's defense, they were happy about that play. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll bring up fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. The Bears offense and Caleb Williams set to go to work once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Right back to Swift again on second down. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Working out of the gun, Williams. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. It's a gain of 20. As we wind down near 20 seconds left in the quarter. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. They'll fake the give, now Williams. And that one not to be, it's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Indianapolis. It's Bears football here. They also have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. And this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and ten. To throw once more, here's Williams. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A lot of great quarterbacks from USC. Here's another one. The rookie's got a first down. 
And this is seemingly how it's been all game long. This defense has been just a step too slow. And here they're burned again. Another big play. To the air, Williams. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down at the Colts 17. 68 yards rushing for him now to this point. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. They'll try it now with Swift. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. So this offense able to convert on fourth and now a fresh set of downs here, first and 10. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Got a man and he hits him in stride. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and that'll make it second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that'll send them back to the drawing board. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Back to throw. Williams. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. It'll be a sack and a loss of three, but more importantly, it brings up fourth down. If you want a lesson on how to defeat an offensive tackle, that was pretty textbook. Is that a clip and save? Is yes. that, that's what's going to go around the league, and people are going to watch that and say, my goodness, that's how you do it. And I feel awful for the offensive tackle because we always talk about the athleticism of that guy who just beat him. Well, you have to be athletic to try and block that guy. Just in this case, the defense won. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Indianapolis offense ready to go again. And the complexion of this one has really changed a fair amount. That last field goal makes it a three-score game, so they need points in a hurry with time dwindling in the fourth quarter. Richardson back to throw it. 
Pierce has it knocked loose. And this is picked up by the Bears. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. And I don't know that that fumble is going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth. It doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. The Bears offense now heading back out onto the field. And as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right from the outset. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. This is Swift on the counter. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Off the play fake, it's Williams. A quick throw there is incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended receiver. Third down here. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On play action, here's Williams. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. On is Santos for the Bears field goal. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Colts offense and Anthony Richardson ready for this next possession. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets. And it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And last time they coughed it up led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when oh, they only gave up the field yeah. goal and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive, a little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown, but they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think the coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield and punch in the end zone without turning it over. Richardson looking to throw. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Good call there on first down. And Brandon, I'm getting better over the years and not screaming out, screen, screen, screen with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest. And they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yardage. Richardson. He'll find his man. That's Taylor again. 
And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The passing game for the Colts finding its stride. Another first down. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. From the 31, here's second down and two. And Richardson looks to throw once more. He'll drop this down to Taylor, and he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon, and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Connecting over the middle with Downs. And they'll get this down to the 10. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves. But they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get you reset. They've got it first and goal as they look to punch in a late score. This pass left side to Downs. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. Three yards is the gain that time. Second and goal. Back to the air with Richardson. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Montez Sweat, the man that time to fight in and drop him. Remember, throughout my career here in defensive coaches, I always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Over the middle, hauled in by Pierce. They wind up with six on the hook up there, but it's not enough. Fourth and goal. Completed pass brings up a fourth down situation. Do you play analytics on this one? Well, you know, what do your analytics tell you about going for it here? I wonder what they would say. They tell me you're down by this margin, fourth quarter. You're going. Touchdown, Colts! Josh Downs from three yards out. And the Colts are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah, yeah you know, it doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead will be cut down to 14. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And this is going to be taken in by the Bears, and it appears they're going to win this game. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. The Bears offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. 
And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes a right read seemingly every time. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Now we're going to get a stoppage. Appears to be an injured bear on the field. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. From the third team now, they work on first and ten. Once again, it's Swift. And strong running there as he's inside the ten and down to the eight-yard line. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. One final kneel down here, and that should just about do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalposts, and that will extend their lead even further. So he remains perfect, three for three in the field goal department. And it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve, isn't it? Because now you know what his range is, and as soon as your offense gets there, you're pretty much counting on three points going up on the board. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. And no thought of bringing this one out. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll begin the drive at the 30. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And we talked so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, 
they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.